Hi everyone, it's Yulin and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my June bullet journal setup. So going right into it, for this month's theme, I decided on a sunflower plus starry theme. Especially here in Florida, but also pretty much everywhere else. June comes along with a lot of heat and sun, which honestly I hate. And so I thought sunflowers would help brighten up this month and all that heat. Um, this month I decided to go for watercolors again. You'll see later on that the ink pens do most of the work, so if you don't have access to watercolors, it's all good. Markers will work fine and will honestly probably make your life easier. As you can see, I struggled a lot with this month's setup because the paper in this bullet journal and probably most other bullet journals absorbed the water really quickly and didn't allow for any watercolor techniques to be used. It was pretty much like using a paintbrush as a marker, which obviously does not work. Um, but I do like the freedom that watercolors gives me when it comes to making and choosing my own colors. As you can see here, I'm just painting my June title page. As usual, I have everything sketched out because it just makes my life a whole lot easier. I struggled a lot when I first discovered I couldn't actually use the watercolors the way it was meant to be used since I had to keep the water used to a minimum, but you'll see me somewhat starting to get the hang of it. <laughs> If we're being honest here, I recorded this in two sittings because I was absolutely sure that I had ruined my whole June setup after deciding to use watercolors and I absolutely hated how it looked. But after a bit of much needed sleep and rest, as well as the addition of the ink pen later on, I decided it was actually not too bad. Side note, I apologize for the crookedness of the bullet journal throughout the video. It's like completely off center and crooked the whole time, which is, you know, I was just too focused on the watercolors and so it didn't turn out great, but I'm, I apologize. <laughs> but here, along with the sunflowers, I added this pinkish flower. Um, originally, the flowers themselves were pink and lightly faded out to white but i couldn't really do that with my marker like watercolor use so i settled on like these line thingies coming out of the middle of the flower um before the addition of my line art with my microns it honestly looked pretty freaking bad but i promise it does get better Now here, I'm painting the stars and sparkles with some gold watercolor. This is probably my most favorite part of the whole setup. One, I think the shape of the stars turn out to be really cute and round. And two, I just really like the look of the gold watercolor here. It looks almost like gold foil. And on camera in the specific lighting, it did look a lot darker than it actually was. But I promise it looked a lot better off camera. And now here, I'm filling in my June letters with that same gold watercolor. Like I said, I just like this look. Um, it almost looks like gold foil. In a weird way, the warping of my paper actually turned out to make it look even more like gold foil, which I really liked. Um, it just pops at you, and although the lines were a bit rough on the edges, I can't draw straight lines, guys, but... I think it turned out really nice, you know, it gave it a slightly sophisticated look. <laughs> Here is the real MVP of this whole video, my Micron pen. As you'll start to see here, the addition of some line art really helps you decipher all that non-shaded mess. I definitely don't do the power of the Micron justice, but honestly, I'd love to get better at using it correctly, but for now, this will have to do.
finally, after some finishing touches, going back and filling in all the spots I missed, which turned out to be a lot, <laughs> um, my June title page is finally done. In reality, this took about an hour or two and I was dying the whole time because it was really ugly in the beginning. Just comes to show that sometimes you just gotta keep swimming through that mess and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm really happy and super glad that it turned out okay in the end, so... <laughs> Next, as usual, the next two pages are my goals and focus page. Here I did a similar flower setup like the one on my title page, but just kind of focused it into the middle. Again, just going in with the marker-like use of the watercolors. Genuinely, I think if any of you guys try this spread out, just use markers. <laughs> it'll probably make your life so much easier and it'll probably look the same honestly if not better and so i definitely recommend the use of markers and not watercolors like i did here your colors will look slightly different but honestly who cares like it's just yellow green and red <laughs> This month's habit tracker design is one that I'm super happy with and proud of. As you can see, I have multiple sunflowers that have 30 petals for the 30 days of June. I also used two sunflower leaves as trackers and I just left the leaves blank so I can draw in the leaf lines as a way to keep track of my habits. So as you can see, since I'm going to be coloring in the sunflowers throughout the month, I decided to keep this page black and white with just line art. And then after the month is over, I'll be coloring in everything else and seeing the contrast between the filled in flowers and leaves compared to the sunflower petals that are either filled or not filled by the end of this month. This way I can actually see just how little or how much of a habit I kept. I feel like I usually just move on after each month without actually checking to see what my progress looked like throughout that month for my habits. So the habit trackers don't actually end up doing its job, but this way I can actually go back to finish the job and remind myself to really keep going at it and actually making the habits I want to make. new that 
that I'm doing for this month is a mood tracker. I feel like throughout the year, because most of it is spent focusing on what I need to do, what homework assignments I need to finish, I don't end up using my bullet journal for anything other than practical things. But I decided to try to use my bullet journal to focus more on wellness stuff, especially now that I've graduated from high school. And so here it is. I'm actually very proud of the way I integrated the theme for this month into my mood tracker. As you can see, I'm outlining 30 flowers and leaves for the month of June, and throughout the month, I'll be coloring in each part every day. I haven't actually decided what colors I wanted to use for the moods yet, and so I've just left it blank for now. Um, I'm kind of cheating, but oh well. <laughs> Similarly to the habit tracker, I've just left this black and white for now, as I'll be coloring it in throughout the month. Finally, for my weekly spread, I decided to try something different, especially now that I'm done with high school and it's also just the summer for most students. I put aside less space for my to-do list and integrated a new space on the bottom for journaling. As you can see, I have pre-cut pieces of paper. Um, I actually will probably be using a different type of paper next time. Um, this is just some Muji notebook paper, but you'll see later that it's pretty thin and so my brush pen bled a little. I think I'll be changing it to butcher paper just because I also think that'd be really cute. If you decide to do this, you can definitely use random pretty scrap paper that you have or construction paper letter paper i don't know go crazy with the stationery anyways as you can see i've just glued in two pieces of paper with a normal glue stick i had to play around with the position of the paper a lot because it didn't turn out originally like i wanted it to in my head but then again nothing ever really does <laughs> but i figured it out and moved on to writing weekly journal um, on the side mostly just to fill in that space um, and then I moved on to writing each day of the month on each side of the paper and then I combined Saturday and Sunday into just the weekend just because I usually don't do as much on those days and it is the weekend so I don't want to have to focus on journaling in my bullet journal paper especially because my first time doing this. But that was it. I was really happy, thank God, in the end with how this turned out. It was a very nerve-wracking process, but hopefully you guys liked it too. If you did, make sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up. 
And if you'd like to see more content from me in the future, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. As always, let me know down below in the comments what you liked and what you didn't. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching and please make sure to stay safe during these times. Bye!